In this short lesson, we'll learn how to use markers in Adobe Premiere Pro to cut clips to the beat. This neat little trick is particularly helpful when it comes to creating music videos. Now let's have a look at a trick that the music video creators use all the time. You can cut the video to the beat of the music by adding markers to the music clip first. Let me show you how. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the soundtrack. And as it plays, I'll just play the first few seconds of this. Let me just zoom in so it's easier to see. Let me go back to the beginning and then press plus a couple of times. Every time there's a new beat, so it goes So every time that tone changes, like this. There. There. So every time there's a beat, you can lay a marker on that clip and then you can use those markers to snap your video clips to later on. So let me show you how. I'll go to the beginning. Now try and do this yourself. As you listen to this music, try and click your fingers in sync with the beats. So I'm going to hit play and as it plays, I'm just going to click my fingers in sync with the beats. Now, instead of clicking my fingers, this time I'm actually going to press M and that's going to drop a marker as it continues to play back. So let me go back to the beginning and I'll hit play and as it's playing, again, instead of clicking my fingers, I'm going to press M. Now that's going to be enough. And now what I've got in the timeline, if I look at the timeline, if I zoom in a little bit here, like that, I now have all of these markers that I can use to snap things to. Let me zoom into the timeline like this as well. So what I want to do is for this clip to finish on this beat, and this clip maybe to finish on this beat, and then that one to finish on the following beat. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to go select this clip. This I think finishes on the beat already anyway. Maybe it's off by one frame. So I'll just select these two clips and then push them left a little bit so we get that lined up. And then I'll just select and push these to end up on that beat. And let me just zoom out again. I'll then push this long ridge clip to here. Hey, it's me. Are you finding this video helpful? If you are, please subscribe to our channel so you can get more content like this. And I'll give you another reason why that's a good idea at the end of the video. For now, Let's continue. And now if I play, you see every change, every cut happens on a beat now. So take a look. There's one more beat there. So if I move my cursor to that marker and I can cut this clip here as well. If I play again. And maybe actually I can fill this gap with this clip and then forget about the split screen here. So I'll click and drag this clip from here to here. So it starts at that point. Of course, I have to select this clip and make it fill the entire screen again. So I'll just go to effect controls and then reset the motion. And I'll do the same for this flower clip as well. I'll go here, select it, reset the motion there as well. And there's a gap here as well. So I'll extend the clip of Amanda slightly towards left like that. If I now go back and play, the cuts will line up with the beat. At Longridge has been here for a good 70 years, maybe longer. Originally it was where all the... So that's how you can use the markers to cut something to the beat. Before you go, if you want to enter our weekly prize draw, where you could win a free training course that's fully live and interactive and worth over a thousand dollars, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. That's all you have to do. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.